Hi there, I'm Lucas Troy and this is Ask Swagelock. Today I'm joined by Matt Dixon, one of our fluid sampling experts, and we're talking about liquid sampling and, and how to do that effectively when you're dealing with cylinders. So Matt, tell me a little bit about vapor space compression. What is that and why is that an issue? Yeah, vapor space compression can be a big problem. When you're expecting it to be a certain amount and it's significantly smaller than that, you might not have enough vapor space uh, to allow enough room for that liquid to expand. And so again, you could be in danger of rupturing mm -hmm. your cylinder. However, if we know the sampling procedure, if we know the supply pressure, and if we know the return pressure, then we have a pretty good way of estimating what that, uh, what that vapor space is going to be after we've captured the sample in the cylinder. Okay. And if it's too small, we can take some remedial actions in order to mitigate any risks that we might mm -hmm. have. Well, thanks. And thank you for joining us for Ask Swagelock.